I'm Darlene Prides. I'm a professor of spirituality and history at the Franciscan School of Theology. I'm also the academic director of the MTS, Franciscan Theology Online Degree. Oh, my favorite book. I love this question. <laughs> Without a doubt, it is Somerset Mom's The Razor's Edge. I don't know if you've ever read it, but I've read it probably every other year since I was in college. It means that much to me. Um, it is the story of a man who has a spiritual awakening um, after a traumatic experience in World War I. And the book follows his spiritual odyssey, going from one life situation to the next, always searching more for the meaning of life, for the divine. And the ending, I'm not going to ruin it for you, but the ending just always gets me. So, uh, yeah, I keep going back to that book. It's just that search for the divine and the search for the meaning of life. It's a beautiful book. I have lots of hobbies. Um, can't wait until I retire so I can do them more. I, you know, I love to paint and draw, but um, right now what I do the most is I go hiking. I go hiking almost every day with my dog or sometimes alone just to get out in nature. And um, I also love to play tennis. So that's actually how I met my husband. We were tennis partners and we played mixed double tournaments. And so we love to play tennis. Hmm, a fun fact about myself. Well, building on the fact that uh, Scott and I love to play tennis, um, we went to Italy uh, several years ago and went to the Italian Open to watch the tennis tournament. And we heard over and over again at the end of each game, the chair umpire says, Gioco. You know, it's the end of the game. That's, that's what Gioco means. Well, uh, two weeks after we got back from Italy, we decided to adopt a little dog. And that dog, when we first saw him, he was just playing around, playing with a ball. He was all alone in this big room. And we said, we're going to take him home and we're going to call him Gioco. Wow, you know, how did I get to FST? How did I get to this place in life? Um, you know, on one level, I would say luck, but we actually don't really think that way, do we? I mean, there is a reason I'm here, and it started probably when I was a really young girl. I just had this desire to, to know God. And um, when I was a freshman in college, I left institutionalized religion altogether. But that's the semester I started studying Franciscan history. So I think God has this way of, of hooking us. And for me, it was through academics. I love teaching at FST uh, in part because I get to learn something every day. <laughs> There's not a day that goes by without learning something new about uh, history, about spirituality, about other people's experiences of the divine. Um, and I also love to be able to share what I know with other people and to interact with them. I don't like to give lectures just to tell people what I know. Instead, I like to share what I know and, and hear what people, how people respond to that. So it's that interaction. So it's in teaching, it's in researching, it's in writing. I love it all. I think the advice I would give to incoming students would be um, multifold. I, there are several pieces of advice, and that is, first of all, ask questions. If you, if you don't know something, ask the question. There, there are no stupid questions. There really aren't. Um, and if you have a question, probably someone else in the class does too. So always ask the question. And really don't be afraid of the professors. We're here to help and we are here to actually engage with you and learn from you in addition to teach, teach you. Um, so consider us partners in your educational process. Um, I know that I work best with students who are eager to come in and have a conversation with me, maybe go out and have coffee and have a chat together. Uh, so don't be afraid of the professors. And now that you've heard a little bit about me, I would love to hear from you. Send me an email or make an appointment. Love to have coffee with you and get to know you a little bit.